Quite a soggy evening, Jeremy. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is a soggy evening, but at least you bring a little bit of sunshine to all the viewers, right, Carrie? <laughs> oh, Welcome to the Anchor Desk. <laughs> You're making me blush, Jeremy. <laughs> it's your first time on the Anchor Desk, is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. welcome, and I welcome you to many more times on the Anchor Desk. You're doing a great job. Thank you, doll. Unfortunately, you're right. It is soggy, and now we got a little bit of a breeze going on. Not so nice out here, and as you go through the afternoon and evening tomorrow, we'll see that breeze kick up possibly to 40 miles an hour, even 50 miles per hour, associated with some snow squalls, even possible. But starting with what we're dealing with tonight, the rain. That is what we're worried about. Flooding possible for eastern Pennsylvania, up from the northern tier, down through Luzerne and Lackawanna County, also Wyoming County, too, through the Poconos, Carbon, Monroe, Pike counties. That's where we could see over an inch, maybe even over two inches of rain. And in those low-lying areas, that will definitely be a problem of ponding on the roadways. Of course, lots of trucks going by on the roadways. That kicks up some mist, and that'll cause a lot of reduced visibility in addition to the fog that we have. And then we're worried about a wind advisory, too, through Monday, where we could see wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour possible. There's a live view at Scranton. Good evening to you, the Electric City. You were a buzz earlier. I was down at the Scranton St. Patrick's Day Parade. The rain held out for the most part. We had some light rain showers, but the heaviest stuff arrived after the parade ended. This is the current picture of Pottsville. Lots of reduced visibility there. Some fog starting to develop in Schuylkill County. Current temperature 40 degrees. High was 44 today. The low was 39. But sunset, at least, was at 6.04 p.m. Tomorrow, sunset will be at 7.04 p.m. We are clicking the heads, clicking the clocks ahead an hour. Here is what our radar and satellite picture looks like. We now have a heavier band of rain now going up into Northumberland County towards Bloomsburg, taking a closer look at the northern tier where it's going to be headed. Williamsport, you're up next. LaPorte, Dushore going to get in on another heavy downpour in the next hour or so. Showing the larger picture, we're not done with this rain system yet. We still have another line of showers behind the front that's going to pass through overnight tonight, so we could pick up again an inch or two additionally from what we've already picked up so far. And on the back side of this low pressure system, we'll see colder air and possibly even some snow squalls tomorrow. Temperatures still not cold enough to support snow just yet. Upper 30s, low 40s, but still colder than they were 24 hours ago, up to 12 degrees colder than they were. But here's your weather timeline. Heavy rain through the evening, flooding possible in low-lying areas, and then snow showers possible tomorrow with accompanied wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. That can reduce visibility very quickly. There's your future clouds and radar. Some heavy rain showers still possible through 8, 9, 10 o'clock. Even showers continued past midnight, probably not as heavy, but past midnight we will drop down to below the freezing mark in the northern tier, and that's where we could pick up maybe a quick inch of snow. That's going to be wet and heavy snow in that northeastern corner of Wayne County, and then we'll see those snow showers start to develop, and they could become snow squalls. Snow squalls can reduce visibility very quickly. They're intense bursts of snow and wind, and if you're ever caught in one, if you get an alert on your phone, you get an emergency alert from National Weather Service that says a snow squall warning, you'll want to get off if you're driving at the nearest exit and pull over in a parking lot. That's how bad visibility can get. If you pull over on the side of the road, you become vulnerable to out of control vehicles during these snow squalls. So I uh, just wanted to give you an update on that. Those snow squalls could continue all the way through the overnight on Sunday into Monday. And then things clear out for Monday. Lots of sunshine expected for the afternoon and evening. As far as additional rainfall, probably an additional quarter of an inch, maybe a half inch, over an inch even possible in the Poconos. As far as snowfall, I think we could see a coating. We'll definitely see those white flakes flying through the air, but I think they'll actually stick there in that northeastern corner of Wayne County. Wind gusts, look at this. 40 miles an hour possible tomorrow, 60 miles an hour possible on Monday, especially through the Poconos. The rest of us seeing gusts up to 40 miles per hour. There's your seven-day forecast. 44 is a high for tomorrow. Remember, we turn the clocks ahead tonight, one hour at 2 a.m. We go to 3 a.m., and we have sunsets at 7 o'clock, Kerry. At least we have a nice week ahead, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, increasing sunshine and temperatures up in the 60s. I'm excited about that. So am I. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be ready to get rid of all this rain and possible snow for tomorrow. Thank you, Jeremy. Yep.